What's up y'all, Lash Milk Kendama back with another Kendama unboxing. Today's unboxing is gonna be from Active Kendama. If you guys don't know Active Kendamas, they're based out in San Diego and they've been in the Kendama game for a while now, I feel like. No pun intended, but they've been pretty active in the community, I feel like. And they're definitely one of the smaller brands that have been able to stick around for a good amount of time. I would say like at least almost like eight years or something, Active Kendama has been around. So good for them, that is super awesome. They have a pretty stacked team. They have Steven and Ollie from Sweden. Those two are really freaking good at Kendama. And I got to meet Ali over the weekend just for a short bit. And I've met Steven at various events the last year. And he's one of the best. He's so cool. I love Steven so much. But I got to talk to the owner of Active Kendama at Battle. And he said he wanted me to do an unboxing on the new shape. They released the Shinaji 2.0, which is off the Shinaji, the first one. And that one was a pretty interesting shape. But the updates I put on this, I'm super excited to take a look at. Enough of me talking. Let's get into it right now. Good. <laughs> we got one kendama and we got another kendama and we got that's it for the box we got some active stickers that say shinaji on them these are clean these are spicy these are amazing and then we got two year of the dragon mods right here which are super duper pretty i'm excited because we got the rubber anti-skid china clear which is beautiful and we also have the new poly clear which is an in-house clear that they do themselves so it looks like there's two variants that we got an oak stripe one which you can kind of see that splice in the middle of the cups right there and then we just have that plain maple one which is super great. Obviously, this one's going to be more home for Lunars. Between the two, let's do the, uh, the let's do the anti-skid one first. Before I get into it, check out the box really quick. You can pause it now if you want to see the writing on the back right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Bang! That's a that's a nice kendama. Uh, just to go over the contents of the box, did they give us a bearing with the string? Extra bearing, extra string, and more stickers, which is great. Thank you. This thing is pretty sweet, if you're going to ask me so far. Definitely takes a lot of the new things in kendama, the kendama meta that I've been saying kind of in these videos. This design is really great, first of all. Let's just check it out really quick. In the middle, we kind of got this like nice painted engraving thing. We got the gold yellowish active logo right there, which is super sweet. And then again, this one has the oak stripe in the middle, which is super pretty. That thing is is amazing on the top i don't know what that means it's probably dragon i could be wrong i don't know and then as you can see right here we got all of the details all of the dragons which is super duper pretty and then that yellow kind of mustardy gold with the red is really just it's solid and then yellow string to match the shape i don't have a shinaji anymore i used to have one but i do not have one any longer but just off of memory it does derive from the original shinaji and adds just a couple more things that i think are way better than the original shinaji first of all it adds stepped cups stepped cups i won't say are a must but they help out a lot and these stepped cups are pretty different as you can see where the step happens it is super deep like that's that's basically all of the step right there it's not slight or subtle at all like it's there you can see it a lot but there is no refined line though it pretty much softly goes into it it kind of rises fine line though because there's no complete like hard angle going into the cups you can almost see it's like kind of not too so uh definitely like an in-between thing we'll see if that's any better for birds or anything like that but I would call it just a stepped cup. But the stalls in this thing are holding pretty nicely. Like it's it's on there, dude. It is on there and it is solid. The ring right here is pretty similar. The handle saw right here is just a little lip. So that's pretty similar, I think, to the original Shinaji. And it is pretty, pretty solid. Ring, nothing like super crazy. It's not a weird shape. It's pretty basic shape and it'll hold there. It'll do its job as a ring. One of the things the original Shinaji did really well was gunslingers and this one does it very well which is great something that this does well that other people try to advertise but i don't think really gets accomplished is that this step actually does like hook on to your finger a little bit more whereas other people when they have stepped cups and say that that's to ha add gunslingers it doesn't actually do that because of how steep that step is right there it actually is grabbing onto your finger at least in my opinion yeah yeah Gunslingers. <laughs> the thing is also just Lunar Balance and two, and the fact that it has this good of Lunar Balance actually is kind of crazy. But woo, woo, okay, all right. Uh, obviously the oak is gonna be helping with that a little bit because oak is a heavier wood. They have that thing that they do, which is they have a vase cup hole and they put a piece of wood on top of it so you can still do your finger spins. I think it's really cool because you're actually kind of adding weight back because you are putting a piece of wood back on the hole, but it's not so much that you lose that lunar bounce. So they found a really cool, interesting, unique thing to add to Kanama, which I like a lot. And also kind of adds a tracking. There's a red paint there, which is good. And as you're doing flips and stuff, you can kind of see it and it'll kind of help you. So that's always great. Another cool thing is that all the cup rims are pretty flat. They're all kind of uniformly flat. None of them is more flat than the other. There's not a sharp cup on one and a flat one on the other. None of that. It's all just flat, which is good. The shape 
feels super solid and I'm actually like really excited to jam this thing because Steven I think was using it at battle and I got to play his and it was very very solid so definitely uh definitely a cool shape can't wait to play it more now we got the second one which i'm super excited about because polyclear anytime any company decides to do their own clear i want to know about it i want to try it and i'm excited to try this just give it a sound test really quick let's see if this is gonna okay all right so just to go over the differences again there's no oak splice on this thing it's just a normal maple can and this is a different clear their in-house clear called polyclear which is super cool and it has a nice pretty shiny look so at first glance it kind of feels like sticky paint but it like it feels harder almost but not glass like so when paints get harder typically they have like a glass like feeling but this doesn't feel like that at all it almost feels like there's more layers of like original sticky paint on it almost so it's like malleable but you can't really like dig your finger in and do anything about it so it's this really interesting like even type thing which is which is cool the sound check on this thing it's really really loud <laughs> but uh that means that it's gonna be good for literally all of the lunar stuff ever in your life it grips when you want it to and it slips when you want it to so like even though this noise is like super like loud and stuff it's not just gonna rock off or anything like that and you still have to try on your lunars which i think you should always have to try on your lunars it's not just gonna stop but it's gonna give you enough assistance to do your trick which is good one of the things which is always a thing with these kind of clears though that are a little bit more glossier and stuff is how it doesn't sweat. I am not sweaty right now and I don't plan on trying to get sweaty, but we'll see how that goes when I review this thing, if it does well in sweaty environments. So the Ken is really good. It's even, this one's even better at Slingers cause the Serato isn't as heavy as the other Serato. And that just makes me and my heart so happy. I'm actually like really happy and excited about this shape because I feel like Active doesn't get enough love at all really. And it's just, it's crazy how good like their products are and they don't get enough recognition for it. These two Kanamas are beautiful and great. And it's kind of cool to have something to commemorate the year of the dragon. Shout out to Active Kanama for sending these out to me and me being able to do this video on them. Anything to inform the Kanama community, anything to help out the Kanama community helps everyone else out, which is great. Not too much else to say about this. If you guys have a Shinaji 2.0 and are informed on this shape, go ahead and drop what you think down below. And I'm excited to discuss it up and stuff when I start playing with these more. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe button, hit post notifications so you can be one of the first to watch these videos when they come out. And obviously sharing the video goes a long way for the channel. This is Elijah from Oko Kanama and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.